Perhaps the energy balance of our mitochondria plays a crucial role in controlling cellular aging. A new study has revealed how fat burning in our cells directly contributes to aging, a mechanism that not only advances scientific understanding, but also has the potential to inspire future therapies for age-related diseases. In one experiment, researchers demonstrated that manipulating the enzyme ATM, a biological catalyst that accelerates chemical reactions within the cell, drastically increased fat burning in cell cultures, which in turn accelerated cellular aging. Such clear results highlight the significance of this mechanism and emphasize the potential for therapeutic interventions. It becomes evident that these processes operate like a precise clockwork complex, finely tuned, and susceptible to disturbances. But could we learn to repair this clockwork and turn back time? Could this mechanism be the key to slowing down or even reversing the aging process? Perhaps like a regulator that fine-tunes the pace of our lives? The central point of this research can be compared to a previously locked door, and now we may have found the key. However, let's take a moment to pause and take a closer look. Cellular aging, also known as senescence, is a process in which cells continue to divide permanently but lose their functionality. This natural protective mechanism against cancer can also negatively impact tissues and organs, particularly in old age. Meanwhile, the team led by scientist Shota Yamauchi has identified a new factor oxidative processes in which fatty acids are converted into energy within the mitochondria. This discovery underscores how closely metabolic processes are linked to genetic stability and cellular state. The researchers combined cell culture models with genetic experiments to find that DNA damage, caused by stress factors such as radiation or toxic substances, activates fat burning through an enzyme called ATM. Interestingly, ATM, originally known as the guardian of the genome, plays an unexpected role here. It triggers a chain of biochemical reactions that ultimately lead to cellular aging, which in turn alters gene expression, thereby promoting aging. This illustrates how closely our DNA repair mechanisms are intertwined with energy metabolism, a dynamic that presents both opportunities and risks. Particularly fascinating is the dual role of mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell. On one hand, they are responsible for energy production. On the other hand, disruptions can accelerate cellular aging. In experiments with human cells, researchers showed that the protein BNIP3 plays a central role. BNIP3 belongs to the family of BCL2 proteins, which play a vital role in regulating programmed cell death also known as apoptosis. Furthermore, BNIP3 regulates the efficiency of fat burning in the mitochondria, thereby influencing the entire aging process. One could say that BNIP3 functions like a thermostat, precisely adjusting the cell's metabolism. Even small changes can have significant effects. Additionally, it was observed that overexpression of BNIP3 enhances autophagy, a process in which the cell breaks down and recycles damaged or unnecessary components. This mechanism could help minimize the negative effects of mitochondrial dysfunction and slow down the aging process at the cellular level. This is comparable to an engine whose performance depends on precise fine-tuning, excessive energy consumption leads to wear and tear, while insufficient power hampers essential functions. By targeting the regulation of BNIP3, we could potentially optimize the cell's energy balance and positively influence the aging process. The study impresses with its innovative approaches, particularly the use of cutting-edge techniques such as RNA interference and metabolic analyses. RNA interference allows for the targeted shutdown of genes to study their function. This approach enables researchers to decipher specific molecular mechanisms and analyze their impact on cellular aging. However, like all research, this study faces limitations. A central question remains. How well can these results be translated to living organisms? Many experiments have so far been conducted in cell cultures, as they provide a controlled environment where complex biological processes can be studied deliberately before testing in living organisms. This controlled setting allows for clear cause and effect relationships but carries the risk of missing important interactions that occur in living systems. Although initial attempts with mice are promising, it remains to be seen whether these mechanisms can be directly translated to the human body. 
Future studies on more complex organisms would be exciting to confirm the generalizability of the results. Moreover, the long-term consequences are still unclear. If fat burning in mitochondria is deliberately modulated, negative effects could also occur, such as increased susceptibility to metabolic diseases or other unwanted side effects. One potential risk could be the promotion of inflammatory processes, which may favor chronic diseases like arthritis or cardiovascular disorders. Additionally, dysregulation of energy metabolism could impair insulin sensitivity in the long term, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes. Such scenarios highlight the complexity and potential dangers of targeted interventions in mitochondrial metabolism. Nevertheless, the research provides a fascinating foundation for developing new approaches that aim to understand and influence the natural aging process holistically. For example, therapeutic approaches that regulate the cell's energy balance by selectively activating or inhibiting BNIP3 could help maintain the functions of tissues and organs. What does this mean for our daily lives? If the findings of this study are confirmed, we could develop targeted therapies in the future to influence the aging process. Medications that control fat burning in mitochondria could help delay or even prevent age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's, cardiovascular diseases, or diabetes. At the same time, this raises ethical questions. Should we manipulate the natural aging process, and if so, where do we draw the line? Such questions show that scientific progress brings not only technological, but also societal and philosophical challenges. In summary, this study demonstrates that fat burning in mitochondria is a crucial factor in cellular aging. The connection between DNA damage, mitochondrial function, and genetic changes could offer an entirely new perspective on the aging process. But as always in science, there are still many unanswered questions. Perhaps it is this uncertainty that paves the way for future innovations, similar to discovering a new continent whose potential is only gradually unveiled. What do you think about these results? Share your thoughts in the comments. You can find the links to the study in the video description. As always, we wish you a long, healthy, and happy life. Until next time.